In this video, we're going to show you how to apply our new Can-Am Spider F3 Le Mans style racing stripes for the rear seat cowl for the Spider F3 Touring and F3 Limited. So when you get your kit, it's going to come in two pieces, left side, right side. Uh, currently, we have them just dry set on the panel. We've already installed our one inch gap tape, as you can see, that runs from front to back right over top of the BRP emblem. And that's going to even out uh, the stripes to help you with placement and act as a guide for your installation. So up to this point, you would have already prepped your surface with the 70% rubbing alcohol and kitchen paper towel. And you're going to be using the uh, supplied squeegee that we give you and you'll need some masking tape and scissors uh, and or an X-Acto knife. So the surface is all prepped, it's ready to go. I'm just gonna show you some quick uh, application techniques uh, in putting this uh, rear seat cowl Le Mans stripe uh, on correctly. So we're gonna do this using the dry application method, using um, what we call the hinge method, which is basically gonna separate your graphic into um, two pieces, a uh, top and a bottom in this case. So, as you can see, the graphics are pre-cut, so there should be no trimming involved for application on this, just like our regular Le Mans racing stripes. Um, so what you're going to do when you get it, the backing paper is here, top of the graphic is here, and you'll see the transfer tape after we apply it. So you're going to position them uh, to your liking, and you'll see uh, the best place uh, to set it um, for fitment as it lays on the panel. Uh, for this particular kit, uh, because of that body line, we did have to add a uh, decorative relief cut, which helps the film to lay down so that you don't get wrinkles. So what you're gonna do is position it uh, where you like it. You're gonna put a hinge that goes across the panel. You can actually tack it to the, the stripe and then go ahead and, and get it back into position uh, where you see fit. You're using your one inch gap tape as a spacer, a straight line for you, um, so that you know you're positioning it in the correct area on the panel. So once you have it positioned, you can put your hinge down tightly. And so, as I mentioned, now you have a top of the graphic, or top of the graphic, bottom of the graphic. So to start, what you're going to do, uh, just like we always do with our hinge method, you can see we're doing this dry is we're going to peel up the graphic and set it on top of itself. Uh, cut our backing paper off. Make sure that there's no uh, dust or debris that falls off when you cut it. And then you're going to take the graphic and hover it over the panel and use your squeegee to begin to squeegee down the graphic uh, into position. If you have to, you can pick it back up and you're just working it into place and it'll fall exactly uh, where you had it taped. You can squeegee right around the corner to the edge. Now we've got half of our graphic applied. This half still needs to be put on. So now we're going to take our hinge off because the graphic is going to hold it like our hinge. Peel back the second half. Make sure that there's no dust or debris. Expose the adhesive. Again, hold the graphic in the air. And you're going to use your squeegee to work from the center of the graphic to the outsides and both sides. You can squeegee right into that relief cut. you got to go up over the ridge, working the film again from the center to the outsides. If you have to, you can pick the graphic back up to reposition. Keep squeegeeing. And again, we have a transfer tape on here, so it does act a, a little bit as a, limited, a limiter to uh, assisting and allowing the graphic to lay down. If you wanted to, you could eliminate the transfer tape at this point uh, and work with the raw film, but I can see that this will lay out. So you just keep squeegeeing from the center to the outsides. And 
you've applied one side of the graphic. So once you get the one side on, then uh, we're going to take the transfer tape and peel it back on itself, pulling it off slowly and carefully. And there's one half of the graphic. If you do get an air bubble, there's a little teeny air bubble here, you can just uh, take the edge of your blade, push it in, take your fingernail, and work it out. And basically you're going to repeat the same step. On the second side here you want to make sure that your alignment is even from side to side when you're placing the, the stripe on. So again we're hinging. First we're going to align, make sure that it's even on both sides. Once you get into position where you like it, we can secure the hinge. And again, uh, the easy side, of course, is from, from middle to bottom. So we'll start there. Again, hold, hover it in the air. We're squeegeeing from your hinge down in overlapping strokes. This could be applied wet if you would desire. Um, for some films, but uh, based on the shape, it's really not 100% necessary. Take off the hinge. Peel back the remainder. And again, work from the... I'm, I'm working up the middle of the stripe and then to the outsides. Work yourself over the ridge. have to pick it back up squeezing it again from the middle to the outsides once you've got it all installed like that then we'll go ahead and peel back our transfer tape And that side's been transferred. When your install is done, just remove your, your center hinge, because again, that's just a guide for the gap on the stripes. It likes to stick to the BRP emblem. had a successful install of the new Can-Am Spider F3 Limited and Touring Le Mans Racing Stripes. We'll get you a better look. These can be purchased at wrapmyspider.com.